should we really be bringing the kids along? Are you worried? Hmm. All rest is a dangerous place right now. The war reaches everywhere. I'm sure we can keep them safe in a normal fight. But if... <sighs> Where are you going? I want to speak with Adam. At this time of night? I'll see what he thinks about it. And if his mind is made up, there's still no harm done. Morning. Ah, uh, um, uh, morning. You're hurt. Are you okay? Uh, yes. I imagine I'll live. Sounded like quite a scene. Yes. Well, I was just collateral damage. Before. You said if you met a child in whom you saw something of yourself, you'd want to help them. I don't have the heart to leave them here. I know. And they've got their own concerns. They want to create a place for themselves in this world. At their age, it's remarkable. I think it's on us to see they don't come to harm. Right. And what a charge it is. Mithra was smiling about. Maybe thinking about the future and... Right, all ready for a quick mosey on? That is assuming you've got all your medicine. Right here. I won't leave my side. How about you, Milton? Mikhail? Uh, we're all good. Be keeping tabs on him since morning. Now let's embrace the avid beauty of the Danag Desert! Be able to see the capital before long. Yeah, no kidding, it's right around the corner, actually. I hope he won't get lost out there. We don't have the luxury. The capital needs to be informed of Malus's intentions as soon as possible. And let us make haste. Right. The Danag Desert. I'm really excited. It looks god dang awesome. Although there are a lot of monsters though, so I don't know how that's gonna go down. Hopefully, we'll survive. Come to think of it though, crud, I probably need to like check on the courtships and the cr- Okay, we're going- we're going back! The, the desert can wait. Wait a second, these chips suck! What the- <laughs> Such a jerk, like, that's my knee-jerk reaction. I gotta stay in this village, free of charge, I walk out, and then turn around instantly, talk to these traveling nopon, they're just trying to s sell chips to feed their family, and I'm like, you know what? They tasted awful. Anyways, they- <laughs> God. Anyways, um, despite that though, I think we'll be okay. Uh, the next- place we're about to visit way better core chips so I recommend saving your money until you get there but uh before we do that we get to explore one of my favorite Xenoblade just environments and like there aren't really levels in Xenoblade right sure there's continents Titans and all that but like right up there with more Ardain this little area right here 
just oh my gosh, look at that. Dude. We're here now. The Nanag Desert is beautiful. Probably all the sand, Adam. That's what's in your goddamn eye. But I just, this is just, I, I can't even put it into words, man. It's like I'm seeing like, love of my life right now. It's just a desert, but no, it's more than a desert, guys. It is just this really, really unique area in my mind. And the enemies, uh, apparently don't like me visiting. How about that? So, uh, let's get in there with some, uh, Gancho. <laughs> I could not even pretend to, uh, yo, could you get aggro, Hugo? Oh my god, we're about to die. Later! Okay, yeah. Despite the absolute beauty of this desert, it is home to a myriad of really deadly monsters. Specifically, those goddamn Guyana. I, I don't like those guys. They will pretty much hit you preemptively for half your HP if you're, like, not a tank. So you have to switch to Hugo, and that sucks. Also, I definitely don't want to jump off this cliff. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> But man, just, gosh, you can see, like, the pieces of the Titan, and, like, it's not all desert either, either. there's, like, this grass, and just, oh, I love it so much, man, there's just, there's just something about it, it's really cool. Like, the, the game just came out recently, right, and I'm just, like, I don't know, I, saying I daydream is kind of silly, because, like, everybody daydreams, but, like, man, I was thinking, like, dude, what would it be like just to, like, hang out here, you know, like, I don't know, oh, I was gonna fight you, but, you wanted to leave, okay. Oh, no, nope. he's stuck in the cliff. The creatures here sure are majestic, but, uh... <laughs> anyways, yeah, we'll do a little bit of battling. Currently, uh, Minoth actually has incredibly powerful, um... chips for his level. Like, I think the worst off is definitely Haze, like... for sure, which is kind of upsetting, but, eh, who cares? It's alright. If we get the break, though, from Laura, we actually have a pretty decent combo going on here. If... You could, Laura, you could, you could break. Oh my gosh, she's never gonna break. Now that she's in uh, Jin, it's just straight up not gonna happen, unfortunately. But uh, if I start the battle with Minoth, right, I can go from topple to launch pretty quickly. And then a Geon can just get the smash, and we'll work from there. Good. We actually, if I get close enough to the enemy, do a nuclear blast, and that should end the fight pretty easily. But uh, Man, guys, I just love this game so much. Like, real talk, gosh. Wait, can we also do... No, we can't do the water attack. Could you just chill out, bro? What is this bird doing, man? I don't know. I wanted to, like, just end this pretty fast, but he's being rather difficult. Oh, can we do eruption? Oh, we can't do eruption either, sadly, but, uh... I'm starting to think that maybe this blade isn't the best just because of his affinity chart, but who do... What do I know in all, oh, man? You can use all three blades at the same time. It's so cool, guys. 10,000 damage. Oh, my gosh. I like this game a lot. I don't know if you could tell. But enough of bullying the random birds that reside in my favorite desert ever. Here we are in another landmark, which, uh, the great break sand. Once once you once you step on the sand, it gonna break. That's why it's called the, the great break sand. We don't have enough super strength to open this up yet. God dang it. We gotta level up a Geon's, uh, affinity chart some more. And also run away. Good God. All right. So, now that we got the landmark, um, we're pretty much home free. No, we're not. Oh my gosh. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's 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 how you die. Uh, well, stepping on the giant spider didn't lead to my death. It was actually just me forgetting about fall damage. And the game I've been playing for collectively like 300 hours. How about that? <laughs> if you include the uh, not DLC, but uh, we're almost there. I just want to show off some of the more like serene views. I like this one too. I'm not I'm not doing a very good job of selling this place. I feel like a real estate agent. And over here we have the. Uh, watering hole where a myriad of gorillas uh, stay and bathe themselves or not and there's also one frog and two crabbles it's a great place fun for the whole thing I don't know what the crud I'm doing anyway here we are to the main event <laughs> one great view right after the other here is the capital of Torna also known as the start screen it's pretty cool. I don't know. <laughs> Where'd all the budget for this game go, John? Uh, this right here, probably. Like, I'll be honest, they could they could have done anything. They could have just made Torna this kind of like rundown place, but they made it this grand, real, beautiful society and castle. Just, God, I love it so much. That's not right. What's not right? This Titan. Why isn't it in its real form? 
You noticed. What do you mean? That isn't the original form of the Torn and Titan. In ancient times, the Torn and Titan held awesome power. Torna made use of that power to dominate all the rest for a thousand years. power was shut away in the reign of Electos I. Since then, the Titan has looked like this. See that glowing sphere in the castle tower? That forms the seal. Is that what Mawas is aiming for? Why would he do that? Wouldn't it be a threat to him too? Truthfully, I don't know myself. But in any case, if he makes a move for it, it is clear what we must do. Agreed. You can see the palace in the distance. We should head there first, offer our report to His Majesty. Take it all in, man. Oresco, the uh... home of the whole sheet is. <laughs> I don't know. This place is just like I like it. I can't even put like my finger on it. It's just it's a really cool place. I I gotta like and just let's be real about it. Xenoblades had amazing levels, and just I'm happy for the people that make these games because they've continued to do so much with. What I have to assume is not the biggest budget in the world, you know, like, still blows me away. But uh, I think, hmm, these are actually not as good as I was hoping. Uh, we'll get a couple of these, not too many though. And I'll definitely give one to Jin, that's for sure. Uh, for the rest of our party, I'll we'll probably focus on Mithra and just, uh, wait, how did Hayes get her Affinity Shard? Oh, I guess because we purchased something. How about that? But uh, I figure, like, giving one really strong uh, core chip to each character. Probably a good idea. Ideally, you do want high block rate on your tanking blades like Bridget and Aegean, but guess who don't, like, g give a crap? So, like, <laughs> that's just the world we're gonna have to live in, but I uh, definitely prioritize getting Mithra's uh, crit rate up. That's definitely her best stat, if memory serves me right, but, uh, I don't want to stay in menus all day looking at charts and crap. I want to hear this- Oh! I love this music! Oh, man. But, yeah, we kind of have to, uh, Tell the authorities here that all this beauty, all this awesome architecture, all these cool looking citizens, and their dope haircuts. Where's the one person? Oh, I don't know. She like she has cool hair though. I can't remember the one NPC I'm thinking about. Is it is it Marina? I think. No, it's pretty stinking boring here, actually, but yeah, they all might get destroyed unless we stop Malos. So we gotta hurry up and do that. Where How we gonna do that? I don't know. Sorry. Here we are on the Viridian Gate, though, which is, uh, my eye. really nice. It's got the whole sand going on. They really like sand here. Anakin would hate this place. Anyway. <laughs> here we are at the gates. Yo, uh, buddy, you gotta let us in. We got some info to tell ya. You ain't gonna like it. Lord Adam, oh my god! Your Majesty Emperor Hugo, I'm such big fans. I expect there must be some sort of emergency. Quaestor Amalthus is also gracing us with his presence. How the dump he get here? Well, please wait here. I'll inform the king you've arrived. Malos aims for the seal? Yes. He draws ever closer to the capital. Leaving destruction in his wake. Our path here was littered with the wounds of his procession, my lord. So, the Quester's report was true. 
noble Hugo. At this time of grave peril, you have afforded us your trusty aid. Your due will be our eternal thanks. I'm scarcely worthy of it, Your Majesty. As the Titans breathe, I merely followed Prince Adam against the peril we face. In truth, it is to him that your kind praise is due. Ah, the trust of the dread Ardanian throne. Tis a much-valued gift to our young scion of a letter. Mark it well. It gladdens me. Your most noble honors pierce my unworthy heart, my lord. Begging your pardon, lord, would that honor were the only currency in this grave business. An armed band transgressed the sacred boundaries of the capital without regal assent. The act merits bitter punishment. Suppose you that our soldiers can subdue Malos alone? I... I don't... Indeed. The army of resistance fearlessly dashes to our nation's aid. They tremble not in the face of the mightiest of foes. To punish them is unthinkable. Yes, but... Zeta, what does not bend only breaks. We must suffer to Adam his just bounty. I hereby enfeef you as Lord of Heblin. This is too much for me, my lord. First, I must busy myself with the command of the resistance force. We can't allow Malos to take the sea. I'd be much obliged if you could grant permission for the resistance to move freely within your lands, Lord. As you wish. Brave soldiers of Torna, hear your king. Our country must make its own sacrifice to halt the terrible power of the Aegis. Indul II pledges its flesh and blood to the cause. I humbly confess that it was my own lack of foresight which brought us to this pass. My brother, or rather, my lord, what is your aim? Why give Heblin to Adam? He has declined our offer. Perhaps our good wishes suffice. Yet still, he holds all the power. He makes allies of foreign lords without permission and gathers together a fighting force. <sighs> Zeta, my brother, hear me well. The second world rests heavy upon my crown, I fear too heavy for my mortal neck. Ma majesty And this disorderly throne is more apt for one such as Adam. Brother, you mean to set my birthright on the caitiff's shoulders? Uh, I can finally breathe. What's wrong? You got asthma or something? It is alright. There's no need for concern. <laughs> Lady Laura gets like this. Whenever she has to deal with formal situations. That's... not ideal. You'll want to talk. You've been waiting outside the whole time, just idling by yourself. That's so selfish! Uh, cut him some slack, Laura. Minoth had good reason not to go, especially when his least favorite individual was attending. Least favorite? Oh, oh wait, you mean Amalthus, don't you? Uh, yeah, that's who he means. S sorry, I didn't. It's fine. I'm a coward, I admit it. We should endeavor to make sure that Minoth steers well clear of the quaestor in the future. So Adam, what's our next course of action? We may have warned them in time, but there's no telling when Malos might launch his attack. Indeed. We can start by taking a stroll around the city, and seeing what the residents have to say. You can't be serious. Malos is virtually breathing down our necks, and you want to waste time catching up? It's not what this is. We get to learn the lay of the land, too. And we get an idea of the overall mood. He's right. 
Establishing a good rapport with the residents will give us an edge when the time comes. Perhaps the Aegis feels that she can handle the situation all on her own. Fine, whatever. You all know better than me, so go on ahead. Bunch of bullies. We're not saying it to be mean, Mithra. We all have to make concessions. I think even you understand that now. You really matured, you know? Am I supposed to take that as a compliment? You should. Halden's been looking out for you this whole time. You know he's being honest. Agreed. You should take his praise at face value. Now let's set to explore the city. Plenty of atmosphere to soak up. Hugo ain't lying, y'all. And this is the part of the game I absolutely cannot stand. So, uh, to progress in the game, you have to have community level 2. To beat the game, you have to have community level 4. This means... For the first time ever in a Xenoblade game, side quests are basically required. Currently, I've been doing every side quest I could for the majority of the game. Taking them as I went. Some of them I couldn't complete in time. Had to come back, get higher level, all that, but... We're currently still community level 1. And that's me looking as hard as I could to find as many quests as I can. I picked up berries, I made people meals, I, I slapped the dude, I'm not even making that up. And we're still a community level one. So uh, this is the point where I'm gonna have to take a little bit of time to go around all of this beautiful, beautiful city and uh, <laughs> do some quests for some people. So let's get to it. Hey, can you join my community real quick? Take just a second, I promise. And all right, after doing what is basically just chores for people, like seriously, we cooked him Thank some you. food, made him some clothes and killed a giant ape. This was the quest for killing the giant ape. Uh, we are now the next community level. That being, well, too. So, we got a lot more quests to do, but hey, we're growing and basically building Adam's Militia. That's kind of what this all is. Not all the people that we have in our community can fight on that level, but I think that's what they're kind of going for, at least. But now that we've taken care of that, Town's good. We met, got to know some of the citizens, right? That dude over there, he's building stuff. He needs, like, pieces for his uh, inventions. This little kiddo, he likes collecting bugs. I don't god dang know why. Can't find any more bugs to give him, but, <laughs> you know. I like that. It's not... I'm probably being a little bit negative, but it's just because I don't tend to like side quests in games that make you collect a lot of stuff, but that's just how they decided to make it. It might not be for me, but I kind of get what they're going for, at the very least from a design perspective, but uh... Well, once we get to community level 2, things are about to change. Majesty, those are... Gargoyles. Malice's artificers. Mithra, let's go! Yeah. You should wait here. Yeah, hope you weren't attached. Um, how did artifices make it all the way to the palace? What's the plan? You want to use my power? No. There'll be too many casualties. It won't be easy, but we need to take them out, one by one. Shouldn't we be trying to escort the civilians to safety? The Torn and Army is already working on the evacuation. They know the city's layout far better than us. Alright. Best leave it to them, then. Okay, so what now? They haven't broken through the rail yet. So we can start by clearing out the gargoyles in the residential ward. After that, they can head over to the shopping ward on the left-hand side. And then work our way straight toward the front entrance. Got it. Best of luck, everyone. Now let's get these ugly mugs out of our darn doorstep! <laughs> Gotta love Adam so much, but he's right. We got a heck of a battle ahead of us. So, this is a giant, giant difficulty increase in Torn of the Golden Country. So massive, in fact, for the first time ever, we're actually gonna use buffs. So, without a doubt, we want to give this rich... Platinum bonbon to Laura. I know this seems really anticlimactic. Like, all right, bro, we get it. Like, you you, you really like your pure perfume, Hugo. That's cool and all, but no, these buffs are going to help us out a whole heck of a lot. Most importantly, party gauge and art 
speed and recovery that is very very handy to have i have that on laura and i prefer to play as laura for this little segment because oh god we're gonna take so much damage you're gonna need haste like you really are and the ability to generate um hp potions with laura so here's the thing right this gargoyle is essentially malos's giant robot he controls all of them i don't know god dang how he just happens to do it and they are incredibly menacing if you stand directly in front you risk getting hit with an aoe attack which hits so much and for so much damage it might one shot you if you are not a tank keep that in mind also if you stand behind him trying to get the buffs from using Jin as your rear guard you're gonna get hit with a tail swipe and it's gonna be awful on top of that they are oh, i do not like that um very, very temperamental with aggro, which uh, becomes an issue, and I really, really need you to not be in a Geon right now. Please go back to Bridget Hugo if you can. Oh, man, we just got to go with that. It's fine. But we're going to try and stack as many elemental orbs as we can, as we always try and do. Getting a chain attack off is, frankly, not realistic, but I'm still going to try. Can you get the launch? Okay. If I'm going to haste. Okay, they already did it for me. How about that? So... And we can just get one more art off. Yes, we can do a steam explosion and do an absolute ton of damage with Laura. So, you also have to be careful of using... I totally messed up that combo because I was scratching my head. Uh, anyway, you got to be careful of what elemental attacks you are using because if you're not careful, it will enrage and make your life a living hell. Okay, also blowdown is really handy, which, well, we have by default with... um. God dang, what am I doing? Oh, man, I was supposed to do that in reverse. I was supposed to do ice. No, no, no. Okay. Crap, I forgot to talk about Dark Ray. Dark Ray Barrage is its most devastating attack. This is pretty much a party wipe if you are not careful. There's not a lot you can do about it. Now, this move functioned very strangely in the first Xenoblade Chronicles, and I'm still trying to experiment and understand how it exactly does your entire HP bar its worth of damage in a single attack. I don't god dang know, but best case scenario, try and get, um accessories or just stuff that gives you max affinity barrier this will keep you alive and ensure you can continue the fight how are you not beside him jen i want the damage up from that but that's totally fine let's go ahead and go into bridget here we will 100 percent get that last orb <laughs> bopped with mithra just because you know she's the light blade okay now what do we need to do uh it doesn't really matter this battle's essentially over if he has 25 percent and we're going on the third uh orb why is it okay i guess Jin is so powerful, he actually lags the game, but these gargoyles are not to be messed with. If you have to use your, like, party gauge chain attack every single time to take them down, don't worry. But you will eventually have to get strong enough to where you can beat two at a time, just to say. Anyway, I kind of like your design, though. I mean, I know I probably shouldn't be complimenting the enemy, but the fact that they have uh, Mithra and Malus's core crystal at the base of them, it's kind of neat. I like that a lot, and uh, we might as well just end off with Laura here. Jin would <laughs> switch. What's going on there? I'm not gonna lie, guys. I try to give as many tips as I can in these videos, but it's like, it's literally like, all right, I tap you first, you die. Like, it's, it's really that straightforward. I don't know what's up with this specific enemy in the game, but, uh, Try and work on your affinity charts. Make sure your core crystals are topped off. Accessories on who they need to be for. And best of luck, because this sure is not easy. And it's only going to get harder. That was not easy at all. Tell me about it. We have to keep on going. There's no other way. That's the spirit. We have to move to the shopping ward now. Come on. All right, let's get to it. So, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, guys. It's like Every time we go up against one of these things, it is do or die and this one is no joke oh my gosh this is they're essentially all the same enemy in the game but if you don't have your party gauge when it uses that attack you may die or cancel it by using a level three or a level four actually could work huh maybe i'll try that this time but we do have an accessory on hugo that instantly starts the battle with him having a tiny bit of aggro and uh if you're dying like the very start i really consider getting anything that can generate him a little bit of threat at the start. This is not a good looking fight because we are not getting any of our stuff. Okay, that made it infinitely better. I am okay with that actually, but uh, we need to actually go into Jin, get the topple, and then, oh my gosh, here we go, baby. Here we go. All right, that's some good damage. That's what I wanted to see. So if I can, and if I have the time, we should try and go back into Laura to use 
the level two, and then let Mithra use nuclear blast. Oh my god, we're tearing through this guy! Jin's damage output is insane! Holy crud! Yeah, you want to use buffs, bros. Oh my gosh, all right. Oh gosh, she's enraged though. Never mind, double blaster's coming out. Let's, uh, live, 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 Lord. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. You gotta go back into, what are you doing? Adam, I swear to God, why, why are you fighting in the vanguard right now? You, you stinking turd, bro. I, are we gonna die? Are we gonna, we're gonna die. We gotta, we literally have to use chain attack again. If you're not topped off at 100%, Adam 100% would have died, because he's dumb as dirt and got out of Mithra. I don't know what the crud was going on there, but as luck would have it, we can probably do enough damage inside this chain attack because we have a Geon who can hit that water orb to end the fight. It. This is the only way I figured out how to beat these guys, guys. I am not even using hyperbole. They are that god dang hard. And two days from now, someone's gonna find an easy strategy, and I'm gonna look like a total idiot. But that's just the way it goes, yo. Oh my gosh. Jin and Legit is so strong, I think. The game lags when he goes to attack. But uh, another overkill. This is actually gonna give us some bonus EXP, which I will gladly take, because good god, uh, I'll need everything I can get, because things are only gonna get tough from this point on, guys. Just a word of warning. We got some levels. Not bad. And ooh, actually another wood chip. Not bad, and these artifices are a right handful. Even I'm having trouble with them. And I'm me! Like, come on! <laughs> the sheer number of them is daunting, to say the least. We have no time to rest. We need to press on. As you say. Now on to the main gate. Uh, crap. Here we go, guys. One more. We do not have our affinity chart, or our, our party gauge in the best of places. Can I take down a third artifice? <laughs> I'll try, I don't know. Oh man, I should have equipped the wood chips before we started this fight, but whatever. Same as before, just stick to the sides, you'll be fine. Oh my gosh, it keeps just, we just keep chaining blowdowns, dude. It is, it is working out. I like that, yo, like holy crud, so. We got it again, what the? <laughs> After like, I was crapping my pants over the last two encounters. We actually did totally fine. Nope, Hayes almost died, oh my god, whoop. Uh, that's what I get for uh, talking crap about the boss, I guess. Luckily, though, yet again, we do have access to the chain attack, so we should be okay. And this time, we even have the break. So if we can just get the topple with Jin, he should come up in time. I'm just gonna have to spam it. Oh, we actually got it, no matter what, nice. That went a million times better than I thought it was gonna go. All right, that's what you wanna aim for. Just try and keep using blowdown, interrupting its attacks. It's hard to do, but the stars might align, and tch, there's no end to them. Yeah, seriously, what's good? Uh, look! God damn- Why do you robots gotta have wings, dude? That's not- that's not fair, that's cheating, like... They're gathering in the direction of the gardens. Bizarre. Let's move. I don't like the sounds of this, guys. Oh, man. Honestly, I don't know if we're prepared or not. I think... I'm just gonna take a little bit of time. Make sure we're 100% ready. I know it seems like an awful place to end the episode off, but seriously. Crap is about to go down in the next episode. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torna, the Golden Country. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.